Hey everybody, Fantron here, and today we are going to be finishing Lightning Returns. Now, as you can see, I have been fucking busy, and there is a reason for this, because I wanted to do something that I said was impossible in the first playthrough. Now, regrettably, it wasn't the original thing that I wanted to do which was taking on one of the uh, one of the two super bosses if, or both of the super bosses in the first playthrough. It is possible, but every video I've seen of it requires some cheap exploit with Yuna's uh, the DLC with Yuna's gar garment grid garment the, the garb that thing in in those exploit and I don't have that DLC and I to be honest, I don't want to use it. I want to do it in a different way. So I tried it in a different way, and no, to, no matter what I did, I could not fucking beat that optional boss. Now, uh, and I believe it was that save file where I, I attempted to do that. In all of these other save files, however, I went and did something rather extraordinary and pulled it off. Now, here's here's how that how the, how this is gonna go. In the first part of my playthrough, I said we are going to take on the ultimate lair. Now, I was not, however, expecting to do that on my first playthrough, and I wound up getting that done. Uh, I actually have the achievement for it right here. And do you want to know how many times, how many tries it took me to, to beat the ultimate layer boss? Two. Two tries. He is not difficult. And I will show you exactly how you need to beat him. And uh, you don't have to be all ubered up, apparently, because, shit, when I started hitting him, he, <laughs> he lost health pretty damn fast. So, and it's pretty awesome. You can get the ultimate garb and all that stuff. Uh, and you can use that for your final boss. And I believe you can actually carry that over to New Game Plus as well. Which, uh, this is what that file is, and that's where we'll eventually head back to. So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and show off what you missed between the couple of days that uh, from where I started. Then I'll exit and, you know, edit everything together. So I just need to uh, figure out which I think it's... I want to say it's this file. It doesn't really matter because I'm not even going to be saving at this point. As a matter of fact, I will not save at all. There's no point for me to, except for when uh, I beat the game. Now, here's the thing. Aeronite will have a video all to himself. Uh, the New Game Plus stuff will we'll all be featured all in a video all to itself and uh, I'll probably just be listing off things instead of showing you so you know we don't have to take 20 years to fucking get to that said point now if I do remember correctly we were on day summer six seven somewhere or another so you know because there's cutscenes in between those days that we've missed New achievements available. Wait, what? Oh yeah, if you uh, beat the, if you get the achievement for the ultimate garb, and I'm guessing something else, uh, you can get these two things, which are pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, we're on day eight, so I'm gonna just go ahead, sleep it in, and I'll see you guys during those uh, said cutscenes, I suppose, because this is just gonna be me showing off cutscenes. Which we didn't... I don't think we missed one on day 8, so... And if we did, I am so fucking sorry. <laughs> but all we're gonna be doing is sleeping in and in. Until then, here's the cutscene here's the cut right here. What do you want now? I've come to help you remember what you've lost. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Ugh. Okay? You woke up from your crystal sleep with God's voice in your ear. He said you had to be the savior. But part of what made you lightning was missing. Leaving a big empty hole in your heart. Controlling me. Yeah. That's how oh, it feels. Oh, that you're getting trolled? Yeah, I know, dude. It's like I've forgotten something important. Something that I need. Huh? Really? I thought you'd deny it. But it's okay. I'll help you remember. Indestructible crystal. Even in the gotcha. sea of chaos, it never loses that its shine. Shit's awesome. 
I'm kind of pissed now. I have to play. I will become an again. eternal epitaph. Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. This shall be my legacy and my atonement. But most of all, my final hope. You wanted to protect her, so you fell into that crystal sleep. You became a tomb for a memory, a moment frozen in time, with Sarah's soul cocooned inside. So tell me, Lightning, where do you think Sarah is now? Yes. I remember now. She was there, in my heart. I had her memories. They were inside me. I took them into the crystal. She was with me then. We should have been together the whole time. Right. Now you're catching on. So, the hole in your heart? Sarah's soul. That's what I'm missing. And you know who took it out, don't you? Benavelza did when he woke you up to do his bidding. He must have messed with your memories, too, and tried to make you forget about it. And so he had the perfect motivation. Or should I say, hostage. He's gonna hold on to her until I've done what he wants. Oh, I don't know if he thought it out that far. He's not very good with human emotions, that god of yours. Maybe he just threw her soul away and let it be swallowed up by the chaos. But he promised me. He said as long as I did what I was told, he'd bring Sarah back to me. If he lied, then I don't care if he Fuck is him. a god. I'll destroy him. him. That's exactly right. I'm gonna blow that <laughs> shit up. Now that's more like the old lightning. But do you really think you can take oh, on hell that? yeah! Well, I wouldn't bet we against me. It already. <laughs> I might have found a way to shut him down. A last resort if all else fails. <laughs> You've been brewing up contingency plans. Sneaky, Lightning. Very sneaky. I haven't made up my mind yet. This world is finished. Soon it'll be gone forever. And Benavelza is the only one who can build us a new one. When he's done, then I'll decide. So you'll play his game for as long as it takes to build the new world. Then you'll sit in judgment on him, you'll betray him and destroy him and steal the new world he labored to build. Is that your plan? I love it. Turning on God and making him a pawn in your own game? It's audacious. Oh, but little hope is going to be so disappointed. He really does trust you, you know. And you're going to betray him. Oh, you did think about that, didn't you? You turn on God, you turn on hope. Are you ready for that? Do you have it in you to fight him? Are you really prepared to kill Hope? <laughs> you think I'm not? You answered a question with a question. <laughs> That's an evasion. <laughs> Got ya. But it's not a big deal. It looks like Hope and talks like Hope, but it isn't Hope anymore. Are you saying he's a fake? Sorry, but the only fake I know is Sarah. <sighs> Look, if you're gonna talk nonsense, this conversation is over. I've got better right, things to do. To Fine, Lightning. Let me make it all clear. Look around you and see the lies. Dude, this cutscene is so fucking long. A lie. Holy Open shit, I'm sitting here for like almost ten minutes. How long is it going to take before you wake up? you realize that maybe, just maybe, you're a lie too. <laughs> huh? What's been a Velza? Now, I don't believe there's a cutscene here, so we can actually just go on and skip. Are you doing okay? But on the ninth day, uh, you get... I forget what the hell is. Oh, Heart Sealer. Uh, let me go ahead and show it. At least. Heart Stealer. Leaping Rush and Evade uh, 2. Level 2. Uh, to be honest, I don't use any of those. Uh, those evasion things or ATV charges or anything like that. To be honest, I'd rather just get the fight done and to be 
quite frank, you don't need them. If you have a good setup, nice strong equipment, and you know your enemies, you'll be alright. You don't need to do it at all. So let's see if they'll interrupt my ass with a fucking cutscene again. Another 10 minute fucking cutscene. Welcome home. What's wrong? Nothing, <sighs> just things on my mind. Don't worry about it. I can't help but worry. We're finally getting the chance to talk, but you don't seem happy. It's like you don't even know how to smile anymore. <sighs> right now, this is the best I can do. Not that I was ever good at it. It's okay. I can make you smile again. You just have to go back to the days when the future still looked bright. One more <laughs> Good question. This is a cutscene of you. Back before we made all those mistakes. <laughs> before we started messing around with gods and fell sea. We thought it was our destiny to fight for the world and the future. But all those battles, all those struggles, they didn't mean anything in the end. Was it all a mistake? Even the journey you went on with me? Well, what else would you call it? We risked everything, but in the end we couldn't save the future and I died. If that's not a mistake, what is? That's why I have to get rid of it. Throw it all away. Didn't mean a thing. It's done and gone. No regrets, just a clean slate. We're going to have a new world, and you and I will be just like we used to be way back when. Listen, Sarah. Let me say this. If that journey was a mistake, I'm the one who has to bear the blame. Because I sent you. It's me who has to pay the price. All you did was try your best. There's nothing wrong with that. It didn't turn out like I'd hoped, but it wasn't a mistake. You tried to do something that was good and right. You must never throw that away. Maybe. But I... I don't want to remember it again. I just want to forget it all. Right. When she said that, I didn't believe her. She'd always been able to accept hardship, fight through it, and be stronger for it. Lumina's words came back to me. She said the only fake I know is Sarah. No, that couldn't be right. The problem was in me, making me doubt her. But it was no good. The terrible thought had formed in my mind. The seed was planted. What if this Sarah was fake? And my memories of her too. Give us a reprieve so that I can save more souls. Necessary lightning. We've done as we've done as best we could. Again, nothing. So I'm just gonna skip it. How's life on the surface? What we get here is the Marshall Monk. Again, another thing that I don't use. Does punt, uh, which I thought was useful for a while in charge strike. That I mean, that's okay, but eh. 
you could you could do a little bit better than those two abilities. It's rude to keep people waiting. This girl, she's got something she wants to ask. What girl? Are you talking about that shadow? Yep, and guess what? It's someone you know. Okay, you can come out. <gasps> Yule. There are people here. They want to see you. to lend a helping hand, but you're too far. Even though they know what you're really feeling, what you need, they can't do anything for you. I'm not looking for help from anybody. Of course you aren't. You're God's handpicked savior, right? You don't need friends, or even family. That's why you can't find Sarah anymore. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, you are the savior. You must gather the souls that still walk upon this dying world and lead them to a new world of salvation. But your sister's soul is invisible to you, and if you cannot see her, you cannot save her. You must ask yourself, if it means saving Sarah, will you fight God? One human does not have the power to defeat Benevelza. He is all-powerful. Then I'll find another power. Something beyond me, whatever it takes, even if it kills me as well. You cannot save anyone. Not even Sarah. Not as you are. Because first, you have to save yourself. You should listen to her. She always tells the truth. Right. Not like you. But... She's telling me that I'm missing something. Well, yeah. Haven't you figured it out? Ugh. I swear, sometimes I lose my faith in you. You don't even know the first thing about your own soul, but you think you can fight God himself. I don't think I've ever met anyone so dense. If you know it all, then tell me. What is it I'm missing? <sighs> it doesn't work like that. It doesn't mean a thing if you can't figure it out on your own. I have to save myself. But how? I'm fine. Now just drop it, all right? If you're sure. But you will tell me if something is wrong, won't you, Light? <laughs> Sid reigns. That was once a man's name, but now it means nothing. His soul has dissolved into the swirl of chaos. I take his form as a convenience, but I'm no more than a puppet. All right, so who's pulling your strings, Benevelza? 
No, not God. I am the voice of many, of the countless multitude who call chaos home. I am the speaker for the dead. Tell me, Savior, do you know the ritual they call Soul Song? Vanille is planning to perform it at the cathedral. She says it'll release the dead from their suffering. I guess that means you. Vanille has been misled. There is a truth she cannot see. A truth that lies within the Unseen Realm. What do you mean? What truth? You do not understand the role of Chaos. Huh. The Chaos will drown this world, but it's also the key to our humanity. When we die, we return to it. But only for a short time. When a man dies, his soul melts into the Chaos. But the idea of it, of him, survives intact. And then he is reborn anew and returns to the living world. An unseen power exists in all of us. It's the chaos that we carry in our hearts. Our souls are made out of the chaos, which is why they return to it when we die. But they survive there, waiting for a new body. Which means, you could be reborn in the new world. If the Sacred One shows us the way, she is the only one who can tell us what to do. She has the power to guide us into the future, where we can live again. She can do what I can't. Vanille can bring salvation to the dead. Yes, but she doesn't know what she is capable of. The Order has kept the truth from her. Why would they lie to her? They preach salvation. Only for the living. The Soul Song will destroy us and make you forget we ever existed. A murder on a grand scale. You want me to stop her, right? Yes. And then you must tell her what her real power is, so she can lead us to salvation. Is this what you all want? It is, but it is not God's will. If you answer our prayer, it will mean defying Benevelza. Those who try to defy the gods end up controlled by them and are destroyed in the end. Like Sid Reigns. I remember. Reigns fought for humanity and he was killed for it. But the spirit that drove him to stand up to the tyranny of the gods didn't die. I kept it with me. Chaos is in all of us. It's the stuff our souls are made of, and it's the reason that the dead live on in our hearts and minds. Yes, the chaos unites humanity, a thread woven through all our lives, and it's a power God cannot see. Its potential is limitless, and that makes it more powerful than he is. But now you're gonna tell me that it's nearly impossible to tap into, am I right? Yet it is possible. No one can control the chaos, if you want to make the power yours, you must have the help of those who are inside it. You know what needs to be done. You know whose soul you have to find. You mean Sarah? Are you saying I'll be able to reach her? You must. With the Chaos, anything is possible. Find the invisible bonds that unite us across life and death. Do that, and you will have all the power you need. Hmm. Chaos. It was the key to defeating God. If I wanted to use it, I needed Sarah's help. But Sarah, how can I make you hear me? I reach out with every fiber of my being, but is it enough? Can I do more? If I throw myself into the abyss, if I cry out to you, will you hear me, Sarah? Will you answer? Anyway, I do believe we are on what the twelfth day now. Twelfth day, maybe something. Hold the world aloft. Give me another day. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah. Twelfth day. One day till the end. Nice work, White. And on the twelfth day, we get the uh, EP ability Quake. Which I don't think I use at all, because... Eh. <laughs> Again, more abilities I don't use. It really feels like the end now. Soon it'll be over. It's been dying for 500 years. I wasn't talking about the world. Then what? Never mind. Time is short. Every minute's precious now. Let's not waste any. Now on the last day, if you did all those things, if you did exactly what I told you to do, and if you played almost exactly how how did, on if not better, final day, please hear my last even if you didn't collect any souls, or you know save any souls prior to this event, you'll still pop one out so this cutscene can happen. If this cutscene does not happen, you go straight to the end game. This is it. This is the true light of Yggdrasil. We're on the 13th day with one extra day, so we got a reprieve. And at this point, you would get the uh, achievement beyond 13 as well. Are you doing okay, Light? Now, on this special day, you get Equilibrium, Equilibrium Plus, Dark, or Dark Muse Plus, I'm sorry, and Mist Wizard. So the three classes that you started off with at the beginning of the game. And you have plus versions of them. Which each version is uh, actually different in their own way. Uh, pretty much it's the same. It doesn't take up another slot. Uh, but it adds attack level 4. Heavy slash level 4. And uh, element level 4. Come and talk to Hope. So it's day 13. That means the end of the world. That's what you said, right? Yes, but something has changed. I don't quite understand it. The Tree of Life has borne more fruit, and it's glowing with a light that I've never seen before. I'm not sure, but I think this might be the lost time. We're getting it back, here at the end. What do you mean? Remember when I told you about the clocks? I told you how they only count to 12 instead of 13. There used to be 26 hours in a day. But now there are only 24. Two hours less. And the clocks changed when the chaos was unleashed. You think that the lost time still existed somewhere? Yes. Through a tear in the fabric of space-time, perhaps. But now it's come back. Thanks to you. I think it was the excess Aradia that you harvested. Somehow, you accumulated so much that the distortion in the space-time was repaired, and we got back all those missing hours from the last 12 days. That's 24 we didn't have. Which means we've been given a reprieve one more day before God awakens and the final destruction begins. Just the one day. It's not a lot of time. Yes, but it's enough for what I want you to do. I detected a previously unknown ruin deep in the dead dunes. Its appearance coincided with the return of the lost time. 